the focus. Come on, here we go. Okay, here we are. Nicholas is flying that glider, that crazy thing that I built for like eh, 20 euro. <laughs> Six foot wingspan. That thing's just way up there. Man, that thing's so far out, I can't focus in the, the camera. It's just there's no reference for it to, f yeah. to focus off of. Clouds are all different. I, yeah, focus in, and all of a sudden it just blurs out. We're having to back out all the way. I can't even see it, and there it is. Yeah, it blurred out to the point where I couldn't even see where it was going. Yep. Yeah, the focusing is out. Yeah, it's an automatic focus. Yeah. It's almost stationary up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there, oh, come on, focus. <laughs> I can't even get it close to the glider, and then it just goes up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, now I can really see it. Yep. Darker contrast. What's that outrageous thing? <laughs> I almost uh, did the whole flight without doing this, huh? Like, man! <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's quite a ways up there. Yeah, it's just a really faint hum. It's kind of cool. I get a full screen shot of this glider now. Kind of keeping up with it. It's kind of neat. Looks like you're uh, pretty comfortable with it so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me know when it starts uh, losing a lot of altitude very quickly. Yeah, that's when the battery dies, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I find I like to bring it in just a little bit before yeah. that happens. Yeah, first time I let it go all the way down to where I, I couldn't get the throttle to you work just anymore. Trying to glide in then. Like, yeah. It. Well, the battery was all the way down to like 9.2 volts. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the prop kind of, you know, yeah, just a small blur. resonating effect on it. About 40 zoom on this thing. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, so for those lazy Sundays, huh? Does <laughs> so it still feel like it's kind of climbing in the uh, in the trees? Not up here, actually. I'm practically over the road right now. Okay. Yeah, as soon as you get right over the trees, all of a sudden, boom. You notice the thing starts to climb a little bit. There's one spot over there, I think it's uh, right over in that direction. Yep. Or it tends to just all of a sudden just jumps up. There it goes. I'm sure you could fly this through the clouds if you really worked mm. hard on it. 
if you really wanted to. Yeah, kind of gives an idea. <laughs> There's Nicholas. Ah, he's having a blast with it. Being the owner of the new aircraft here. <laughs> okay. There it goes. Yeah, you find when it gets back there, there's a lot of sinking left. It doesn't really uh, like to come up that much. Yeah. Yep. Unless you're going to find a, a bit of thermal lift off the, uh, or I mean, ridge lift off of some of these buildings. Yeah. How's the throttle? It's doing good. About okay. half. Okay. Right where I used where I said it before. Yeah. Yeah, what I'd kinda do is I was varying the throttle back and forth, mm -hmm. uh kinda up yeah, a notch or down a notch yeah. just to find out where it would actually start sinking at. Uh-huh. Then it would uh it kinda tell me where I had the right amount of lift and uh Yeah. This way I could kinda try and conserve on the battery a little bit Beauty. too. Then. Look at that driver straight up, man. <laughs> Whoa. That is rising. You got a lot of lift on that section. Yeah. Yeah, when I was still in the other room, I took all the photographs of this uh, thing and showed all the construction. And yeah. Well, I kind of have something to bring back. Uh, in case I decide to build another one of these things, yeah, maybe uh, if I want to vary the design. Yeah. This just kind of proves what kind of flyer it is. Just easy flying. Oh man, it's sweet. I'm just riding over the trees right now. So I mean, it's more fun just kind of just ridge fly this one. It's not so much for aerobatics. So when I come back in six months, you'll still have it, right? <laughs> yeah, I won't fly it that much. I mean, probably in six months, I'll have most of the parts. Okay. Okay. So yeah, when the battery dies, uh, do you just keep the throttle at the same place? Or? Uh, usually I bring it down and then I try and try and think about where you're gonna actually set up for your landing. Yeah. I don't know if you wanted to try and do that at least once. Yeah, I'll probably try that out. Okay. What I'd be doing is I'd be bringing the throttle down just just enough to where it starts losing a little bit of altitude. Uh -huh. Yeah, a couple clicks. There it goes, starting to come down a bit. Yeah, because that's gonna that's gonna slow you down in a hurry. I kind of bring it by and at least the pattern. It, I'm gonna bring it back around over by the gym. Okay, nice nice gentle turns. You really don't have to to do that much. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's just enough to where it's gonna allow it to lose a little bit of altitude without uh, getting too fast. Yeah, like right now it's kind of speeding up a bit, but take a turn. Okay. Burn off the speed. Uh, kind of hard to find it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's still high. Okay. And when you bring this one in, this is say you need to bring it in to where you have enough air speed to where you're going to be able to at least get it to flare out on a level. Yeah. I still have enough time to get it around. Okay. Do you feel comfortable landing it? Yeah. Okay. Remember, it's just like chess. You really have to plan out your landing on this one. Okay. The wind's pushing it fast. Okay. It? Now, the way the wind's coming right now, you can probably end up landing it from that direction right there. Yep. Don't try and force it down, or it will uh, it will outfly the uh, distance and it'll fly down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When you feel comfortable and everything else, then you can at least cut the throttle enough. There it is. There. Yeah. Or right there, it's going to keep floating right past you. So you really have to kind of get it a little bit. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't force it down unless uh, you really need to. Okay, if you feel it's not going to make it, yeah, just go up or around a little bit, give it just enough throttle. Okay. Somebody take it? I'll get it. I'll get it in. 
-hmm. Okay. And chop the throttle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold back, hold back. Woo! Did it. Not bad. Oh. Hey, Nicholas landed successfully. <laughs> How'd it feel? Yeah. Okay, yeah, make sure yeah. the throttle's all the way down. It should be good to go. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Well, it looks like you had a good time with it. Yeah. All you had to do was just take it off, and you saw how, how easy it was to take off, right? Run with it and go. Yep. Screw it up right. So, all right. I'm about ready to get it out of my equipment so I can go put it in my reflection and uh, go do some real flying, but... <laughs> I don't know, I'm half tempted to kind of keep this motor <laughs> on a glider now. <laughs> yeah, because the dual, the dual settings and everything, they really kind of give you an advantage when you're up there between getting the power, getting all the way up there in a hurry, and then uh, varying it to a, a higher pitch to where it actually has a much better range. They'll have more power, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that'll pretty much end this documentary then. <laughs> All right.